The man at the liquor store put out a bounty. I went to the counter and served him a county. Born in the city, but learned in the county. Street shit wherever I go, cause it found me. Sticking my denim, I ain't trying to hide it. Perp out in public, we slumped him in private. Open his chest for that treasure, we pirates. Walking by flies, a bitch like we pirates. Bitch on my dick, I know she wanna ride it, huh? I hope that she licensed. We see the moon and turn up like we lichens. Take all this cake if we move and we icing. Block 21 got me hiding from ice. Got a young nigga thinking about moving to Iceland. But I'm a felon, I can't leave the state. If nobody telling, I'm beating my case. That nigga turn hiding, that nigga with alias. Lean from the dock, so I call him Octavius. He shot in his cag as he with aliens. Circle his block for the squares in our radius. How you a gangster? Your name is Xavier. Why motherfucker don't know who this baby is? She got no kids, but I still make her babysit. I be so high, wake up, don't know what day it is. When I slide, I be off of that activist. They like, will he the one shoot the laziest? If you owe me some dope, better pay me, bitch. Or we visit your spot like vacationist. Pistol whip on me, smelling like baby shit. Have him lying on God like an atheist. Make Go YT, it's your boy T. I'm gonna hit that real quick. A Flash, AK Mr. 242, coming to you guys with another video. And in today's video, bro, I'll be showing you guys an advanced dribble tutorial. This is my part two version to it. Now, before I even get into the mood, I recommend you guys to watch my beginner dribble tutorial and my other advanced dribble tutorials just to get up to speed and know like the type of moves we'll be looking at so you can become the ultimate dribble guy. You feel me? So, those will be in the comment section or in the description, wherever one I decide to put it in. But let's get right into the video. Y'all saw me already in the beginning going crazy. And when I do each move, I'll be showing you guys in game effectiveness so you know, like, I'm just not bullshitting you guys, you feel me? But let's get right into the video. Thank God. All right, guys. Now, our first move we'll be looking at is teleport dribbling. Now, in my old tutorial and when I be playing with people, they be like, bro, how you moving this fast, bro? How I be doing these teleport moves and stuff like that? But, bro, it's not even hard, bro. Like, it's, it's mad easy for me. Probably because I've been doing it for so long. But let's get right into it. Now, to do the teleport dribbling, it's basically like what you want to do is you want to be coming from doing like a combo like this, you feel me? Like a stand-up combo. And then you want to go, say you're running in the right direction. Once you're in the right, you want to stop moving quickly and then you want to activate the move. Now, you don't want to do it while moving. If you do it while you're moving, then you'll be getting a slide back and that'll be ugly. You want to stop momentarily and then do the move. Trust me, bro. No one's going to guard you. That move is so effective, feel me? And I'm going to do it with the curry move right here. Feel me? And like, green. Easy, bro. Easy. It's easy move. Now, guys, make sure you're looking at the controller cam. Now, it is a second delay. I don't know why, but it is a second delay, guys. So, please, yo, forgive me, bro. Forgive me. Please. Hear it. And you see that excellent teleport right there. I incorporated both the curry size up and also the behind the back. Now, the next move we'll be looking at is the momentum into the between the legs into the behind the back. Now, this is a very effective move, and I see a lot of people doing this, and I've been doing this for me. I have a lot of clips doing this and all that. Drill mixtape coming soon. Buzz in my left hand. What you want to do is you want to momentum to the right, flick the right stick that I need to down left, and then do the wide behind the back. Now, to momentum, what you want to do is while holding turbo, because this year you have to be holding turbo. So, while holding turbo, you want to flick the right stick dangly up right if the ball's in your left hand this is what you do you want to hold turbo flick the right stick dangly up right and move the left stick in that direction also you do the momentum same way if the ball's in your right hand just vice versa now as soon as you're done the momentum you want to flick the right stick down now just practice this motion right here bro you can start your combo like this this looks mad nasty for me and just flick the right stick in the opposite ball hand dangly down for me and look like that now, once you've done that, you want to do the wide behind the back, which is this one, this right here. Now, do that behind the back. What you want to do is, once you do this move and it's in your, it's, the ball is going to be in your left hand. So, while holding turbo, because you have to be holding turbo before you do this as well. While holding turbo, you want to flick the right stick diagonally down right and then move the left stick in. So, it looks like this in fast motion. buckets bro easy buckets that's a very effective move a lot of people cannot bro this wide behind the back is hard enough to guard as it is imagine you doing a momentum something you're going somewhere else and just has a three-pointer green you feel me jump shot video coming tomorrow as well all right guys now the next move we'll be looking at is the behind the back into a ash spin into a this right here yo tell me that's not nasty fool Alright guys, now to do that move, I just taught you guys how to do the wide behind the back. 
Now, once you do Y behind the back, you want to do the S spin. And to do an S spin, you have to be moving at an angle, all right? So let's say the ball is in my left hand, and I did the behind the back, I'm going to the right. You want to be moving like dangly up right, kind of, you feel me? You want to be moving up dangly up right. And once you do that, you want to while holding turbo, you want to flick the right stick in like a U motion. So from going, look, if you look at a compass, bro, it want, you want it to be from east going south to west. Feel me? So look exactly like this. You, that's the spin you want. You want an S spin. Now, to get that glitchy behind the back thing, when you do the Y behind the back into an S spin, you want to hold turbo and run back. Feel me? You want to run backwards and then just want to flick your right stick up and then down. That's all you have to do, bro. And you have to be doing going straight in order for the move to activate. If you, you're not going straight, the move will not look good at all. So that's the move right there. I just did my little, you know, my little, little, little extra sauce on it. Also, guys, who want me to do a video on how to combo up? Let me know in the comment section. I can show you guys at least five combos for you guys to do in the video. I don't wouldn't want to say ten, bro. That video will probably be like 20 minutes. But just let me know in the comments if you want if you want me to do the combo video. Alright guys, now next move we'll be looking at is Steezo calls it the Steezo rule, but I actually made a YouTube video before Steezo even talked about making this Steezo rule, but I'm not gonna get into that. Shout out to Steezo, feel me? But to do this move, you can do this either off of a momentum or an S spin. Or even a behind the back, feel me? Like that right there. Animation should show how it's supposed to but let me show you this video clip right here what i'm doing see as soon as i like start moving i flick the last stick down right and then hold turbo while i'm doing it you feel me that's how fast the animation can get the hardest move to combo this with is the momentum in my opinion bro that backspin is too easy you feel me so let me show you guys how to do that right here all right guys now the next variation of it is the backspin now to do a backspin you have to be running at an angle either dangly upright or dangly up left now if the ball's on my right hand i'm running dangly and the ball has to be inside the hand you're going in so since the ball's on my right hand i'm gonna go up dangly up right and then what you want to do is while holding turbo you want to flick the right stick if we're looking at a compass, you want to do it from east going downward south, right? So it looks like this, like an under, like an under, like a U kind of. You feel me? All right. Now, once you do that, then you want to let go of turbo, um, hold the left stick down, and then hold turbo as soon as you do that. So it looks like this. You, bro, you feel me, bro? You see how saucy that move is? Now you can do that into the glitchy behind the back move and that'll look even nastier bro, so watch it. Easy and simple bro, feel me? It's easy to do, all you have to do is merge that S spin move with the behind the back, the glitchy behind the back move and you'll be golden bro! Alright, and it's a glitchy sideways move into a back glitchy backspin, bro. I know, bro. Everything's so glitchy, bro. It's a glitchy tutorial, bro. I might even na name it that in the title. Alright, guys. So what you want to do is, alright, guys. So say the ball's in my left hand. Which once you flick your right stick up, the ball's gonna be your right hand, correct? So once the ball goes in your right hand, you want to run in that. Di you want to run the right direction, but you don't want to run far. Like you want to run, and then as soon as your player is about to burst off, I do a speed boost in that move, and I do the glitchy thing. I'm gonna hold the left. I'm gonna spin the left stick from right, going all the way round down. Alright. So it's gonna be going from east, north, west, and south. So that's how the move will look. It'll look just like that. Now, once you do that move, is the glitchy behind the back is simple. You just want to continue running backwards, flick the right stick up and down. That's it. That's it, bro. Speed boost. Come back around. Easy dunk, bro. That's that simple. Now the last part of the tutorial will be reverse dribbling. Reverse dribbling is kind of easy. Now what you want to do is, to start it off, you want a certain Eshpin. I call this the Eshpin. You want that Eshpin right there where your player is in that exact animation. You don't want that one. You don't want that one right there. You want the first one, you feel me? And once you get the first one, what you want to do is you want to flick the right stick down. So you can do it behind the back. Now once you do it behind the back, it's all about your left stick guiding your player. So once I do behind the back, flip the right stick, dangling down left, and then 
down to do that move right there and while i'm doing that my left stick is guiding my player so he can do like a full 360 spin i know it sounds it sounds crazy but that that's exactly what i'm doing and then i do a hesitation so my player can fully turn around thank you guys for watching the video please like comment and subscribe if you enjoy tgt the SACUG. more tutorials dribble tutorials will be coming out soon turn that like button yo guys please turn on that post notification bell i think you do been bugging bro people haven't been getting to know these so guys just hit that like button subscribe turn on post notifications all that tgt the SACUG 242 we yo. out last oh Oh, my, I'm so scared.